Mixed with those, the, you won't see a difference. It's, it's putting hairs. I was very, uh, you know, I was putting you in Bring it over and see what you got. Just to get them out of the way. Let's pick. Oh, that's, that's uh, about it. That's it. Perfect. Okay. That's what we want. story short, I have no idea how I got out of it. Uh, every time I went near a tool or my metal shelves, I, they'd all stick to me. And so now <laughs> it's exponentially getting worse. It's, it's an am later. amazing amount of crushing <laughs> power. And Fifteen degrees, or ten, or five, or two. Have you not measured it? I'm getting tired. Okay, no tickling. Let's go, huh? Take a look. I don't want her. It 
wouldn't hurt. You know, ideally that weld would have come right through, but it's a matter yeah. of travel speed, adjusting the machine. You know, maybe that machine just doesn't really have the power to, to yeah. penetrate through there on one pass. So the first thing I did was just took this and put it on the back rotor and put a B on it. Get a spot and there's holes that line up. Got the holes lined up. That's how we drove these. And then I marked it with a sharpie here. There's blue lines there, and blue lines there. And that means that a magnet, uh, that this magnet lives here. And there's also a corresponding mark on this one. Here. So a magnet's going to live in between. This is the front rotor because it's been tapped and it, um, the ground surface will be the inside with the magnets going and it face down. So we piled this whole thing up, pinned it together, made those marks so we know where a magnet lives and then on each rotor we drew an index mark so that hopefully 100 years down the road when this thing's all rusty we can still get it back together. So you do that to the H magnet? No. No. <laughs> no. We don't care what's don't north care. or south. Yeah. Uh, we only care about pulls. Right. We only care about um, what? That, they, that, that we get the pulls of those. So if we have a south pole here, there's a north pole. We're going to get this out of here. These are the magnets. I think you've all had a lesson already about how potentially dangerous they are. So when you get when you get your magnets in a stack like this, it's pretty easy to do. Just like if you're handling individual magnets, you treat these like individual magnets. And it's easiest first if you rotate them. And you can only shear them apart, you can't pull them apart. And pull this set as you pull them. Let me put your thumb in. <laughs> I'm holding it well. I'm holding everything very firmly as the key. So here, the wooden work then is the key to get these apart. I and it would be the same with individual magnets. But get it right up to the edge and hold it very firmly. And once you get them apart, don't lose your focus and think, oh, they're apart now. Come on, because it will go. You jump right out of your hands and they'll break. And maybe hurt you. So get them apart. There's one stack. If you rotate it very firmly, share it straight down. And sometimes it's good if in a workshop if, if one person's taking them off and then handing them to the others for the magnets. And then put it in so it doesn't do this. Bring it in all the way. And there's a wedge here. Mm -hmm. and that minimizes sliding the magnet across the subversive surface. And pull the wedge up. Okay, so now you always hold these things firmly. So I always say hold it firmly, put the thumb on top, always keep your fingers in between the magnet and anything it wants to stick to. Maybe this magnet or steel. So if I put a hand here like this, and that doesn't hurt at all. But if I was to come in, I see people all the time like this. Yeah, it's going to jump right up your hand and shatter if your other fingers are so Keep one hand over the magnet here. That's a trap. So what do I want? Oh, you're checking the polarity. Mm -hmm. That's right. No, no you if, want. If this so surface have. repels yeah. this surface, then I know that these are light poles. Okay, don't run around here. Oh, that looks like... Ta-da!